Hello YouTube, it's JBob the Video Game Slab. We're back at you with another Auction Monday, going through all the things that we spent $120 on this week. Uh, we made some sales today. We were out at the uh, post office on the way up to the auction house. Uh, we got rid of that loose disc godfather. That put us into the profit on the November garage sale thing. Uh, the $200 in comic books that I bought and mailed out another comic book, that put us into the profit there. Uh, so we're getting past even on a lot of things. That's really good. Uh, so let's go reinvest that money on a bunch of stuff we'll lose money on. Yay! Uh, so yeah, here we go. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, and then I, yeah, and then I restocked the antique mall. I can't remember if I said that. So uh, we had a really strong November. We topped uh, 3,400 at least last time I saw. Got a few sales on the board for December. So we're getting there. Good, good months. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I can show this on YouTube or not. It is a replica. It's not real. I don't want to use the G word. But uh, we picked up a replica. Pew pew. Uh, this is like 35ish bucks, I think, with everything all included. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. Um, they tend to sell well on the internet if you can find them. They are super weighty, which is not going to come across on uh, video. And I know a lot of people that watch this channel are not from the Midwest, and so y'all don't get it. Uh, but uh, people like this stuff around here. Uh, and so I bought another one, a Colt, uh, this summer, and so... I'm excited to have that one as well. Uh, these were like 10 bucks a piece, and I'm sure they won't work as a no cords, untested <laughs> auction find PlayStation is not going to be. Uh, but I can sell this for 10 bucks. I really don't have, you know, needs cleaned up. Uh, and that was Brian's. Uh, don't have too much uh, hard luck selling the originals. They're really small, uh, so people need a lot of them, and they seem to be less of them and more proprietary. Um, so those are a little bit easier to sell. Uh, but then, you know, don't worry, it's not audiophile. Yes, it is that dirty. It came with... Yay! A Crash Warped. And so, you know, we can always sell Crash, even uh, disc only for like 10 bucks. So that's, you know, that's a no-brainer. Uh, the PS2 for 10 bucks is probably even dumber. It's definitely dirtier. Uh, there's certainly no way to check, uh, at least off the top here, that it had a disc in it. Um, of course the cords aren't really a problem to get those, uh, but even if it's not, I, you know, usually have pretty good luck selling these things for 20 bucks broken. Uh, I am trying to get a pile of them together, um, so that when I order some lasers or, or want to go to town on these, fixing them, getting them working, uh, we can do that. But, uh, the mod community generally likes them, so, uh, that's been pretty well. Okay, here's a super dumb one. I think this was like... Eight or ten bucks, uh, with everything all included. Five of these glasses, uh, and if <laughs> if you've known this summer, you're like, don't you have Spuds McKenzie glasses for sale for like four and five bucks a piece that aren't sold? Yeah, but they're not these ones. Uh, you know, Spuds McKenzie. I, you know, if you're forty ish years old, uh, you you probably fell in love with Spuds McKenzie and you can't let them go. Uh, and so that's their all that style. If you've watched Futurama and you love Slurms McKenzie and you've always wondered what that was based on, there you go, the original party animal Spuds McKenzie. And so just a great, you know, Walkman in the back pocket there, headphones around the neck, skateboarding away. I love this form factor. I had a beef jerky, uh, uh what was that? Uh, it's $2. There you go. Somebody couldn't sell it for 2 bucks, so naturally I bought it for that, and I'll sell it for more, certainly. Uh, but I, uh, not uh, Jack Links, what's the old? Slim Jim uh, won this summer, and so uh, that did sell. Oh, and it's like Christmas themed, so I guess that's good for this time of year. Maybe we'll throw these up on Marketplace or something like that, so um, trying to see if that's. Okay, that's just dirt. <laughs> I was worried it went through a. Uh, uh, you can see there. Um, I was pretty went through a dishwasher, and that was all faded. Uh, so I don't know those. I you know usually get eight or ten bucks out of. So hoping to at least just sell one of those, get all my money back, uh, and then maybe sell those others. Uh, not a ton of profit involved in there, but if nothing else, then I just get to drink out of Spuds McKenzie glasses, uh, and isn't that something? This is uh, this whole auction had a bunch of RPG stuff, and so naturally. Like, what am I going to do? Resist buying stupid RPG junk? Uh, yeah, I have no idea what really most of any of this is. The paw of the tiger. Oh, here we go. 
Well, it's not A, D, and D battle system bloodstone pass. I guess this is, this must be authentic because it's rusting out, but it has that look of something that was just poorly photocopied. Not that that doesn't mean it can't be. Uh, battle system. Battle system army roster. Battle system heroes and commander. Oh, and it's already used for us. Oh, what do we have in here, though? Okay, so more combat. What the heck? There you go. This is how little I know about RPGs and D&D &D, that I have no idea what any of this stuff is. But this is all Bloodstone Pass. Okay, so is this... Should this have had colors? I don't know. Uh, original expert rulebook. Uh, so again, I think this was the thing that was like 50 bucks for this part of it. And of course that is like super ripped. I don't know. Usually those are like 10 or 20 bucks. So, hopefully something in there. So maybe this battle system stuff in here I shouldn't be separating. Uh, but that just looks so photocopied and craptacular. Oh, here we go. GI Anvil of Victory. You know, if we were a better YouTuber and a better flipper, we would know all about this stuff. Uh, sometimes this stuff can be valuable. I'm guessing a boring war... Tactical RPG from this era, not as much, uh, you know, but maybe with all these trinkets and parts we can get 20, 30 bucks out of it. Uh, AD&D Dragonlance Official, it says official. Again, this stuff just feels like it was all photocopied here. Oh, and dirt! Uh, and then... AD&D, &D, Dragonlance, Dragons of Glory, but it feels empty? I'm going to assume there should have been more stuff in here. Looks like it was supposed to be thicker. Don't know. See, if I was good at this stuff, I would know. So this looks like it all goes to the war game, but at the same time, that box felt pretty full. Crescendo of Doom. Cross of Iron. So maybe there's multiple games in this game. I don't know. Well, some of that's unpunched. I have no idea, but there's just pile after pile after pile of these things. Starfeet. Starfleet. I mean, that does not look official. I don't know. Somebody wrote a bunch of stuff up. My hope is just finding the greater fool, the person that says, oh, I think these are all, yeah, uh, actual board tile pieces that thinks, hey, there's just so much stuff in here, it's got to have some value, right? Uh, you know, so finding that greater fool and unloading this on them, well, we can't end the video without going through another one of these, uh-oh, and it just looks like it's more, well, hopefully the board parts of the board game are expensive. My god, yeah, there had to be a box or something that these went in at one point because how do I even get these things open? Oh, this is going to be a real boring video if it's just my hand. Yeah, more hex tiles. I, I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know what I was doing. I saw D&D &D and a bunch of like papers and thought, well, maybe there'd be more D&D. &D. Obviously it was more war, but I don't know. Lots of parts. I don't, is that, I don't know. As long as we can get 50 bucks back, we're good. Uh, and there we go. That's how the dumbest uh, YouTuber and flipper in the game wasted $120 this Monday. I don't know. We'll see where it goes, YouTube. Uh, if anybody knows what's supposed to go in here. That sucks. Because you see that and you're like, oh, well, I'll get some D&D &D stuff. Or the other one, you're like, okay, that's pretty good. I could see the thing on that and then it's ripped, so. And this list is, I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe that's not photocopied. Maybe that's real. I'm going to just keep rambling, so we're at 9.30. We're almost at the 10-minute mark. Let's get on out of here. J-Bob the Video Game Slob, lighting some cash on fire. Tune in next time for another Black Friday uh, video. We'll have some cool games coming in. We'll talk to you later.